It's actually a beautiful day outside today. It already feels like fall starting to come in. Uh, I think the low tonight is going to be around 55, 57, something like that. And the high today is actually just in the 70s, which is a big contrast from around 100. But so I got the garage all opened up and I'm in here trying to clean up things a little bit. I've kind of got a little excessive on a few things. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is it. Um, I kind of collect a lot of different uh, materials uh, over a period of time. Over here I've got some hand drill spindles. Most of these are fairly close to uh, straight that I've kind of straightened out. And then I've got this stack over here that I haven't done anything with. And as a matter of fact, most of them still have, like this yucca still has its pods on it. And I need to clean this thing, this up, um, if I'm ever going to use this as a hand drill spindle. And it stores a lot better when you don't have this on there. But you can see inside the actual pods, this is when they're open. I collected this, and most of this material you'll actually see here. Oh, I think it was April, maybe? Maybe March? I don't, I don't know. Um, got that, and then course I've got a lot of uh, mullein stalks and you can kind of see that by the seed heads here. The trash bag is actually full of inner bark. Um, this little bag down here. Um, let me show you what's inside that. You guys might enjoy this. So for those of you that like to do possibly playing around with primitive fishing, I've got a lot of different galls in here. And you can obviously see that just looks just like a bobber. Um, so it's just actually plum full of gulls. So got that. And then I've got some other material that some friends have sent to me. So what I'm just going to do is sit here and actually go through and kind of clean up and process them just a little bit more. So I can get some of my room back. That and maybe make the wife a little happier. Right, so you guys are going to kind of get a little bit of a sneak peek of something you're going to see a little bit more of in the future. And it's what everybody loves. So this here is a black feather knife. Oh man. It actually feels really, really, really nice in the hand. I'm going to use this to help process down some of the stuff. Uh, you guys can kind of see the patina that I've already started to acquire on it from using it over a good period of time here. And I say good period of time, a good period of time since I've had it, which hasn't been that long. But uh, I've used it a lot since I've gotten it. But normally what I do is something like this here, um, before I even get the knife out to start, I can just take these pods and pluck them off. No big deal. You wanna throw those in the fire? something like that. Uh, when I do collect a spindle like this, I actually take this spindle while this the stock is actually growing, and I do this with every stock. Um, it's not a hundred percent, you know, uh, success rate this way, but it does help out a ton. But the stocks are usually standing up in some form or another. They're not always usually completely vertical. But if you go up to the stock and literally walk up to it and look straight down it, just look down onto it and see if it already looks somewhat straight and then I will collect it um, and only at that point if it doesn't look anywhere near straight it's virtually not going to be useful um, at least not for me there's plenty more out there to collect from so uh, I wouldn't I definitely would not collect those now sometimes people have a tendency when they see little branches coming off like this to go up and actually shear them off in this direction and that actually will break them. Um, ends up taking huge chunks out into the wood but if you actually cut it back here uh, this might take a few strokes but it will be a much cleaner um, edge for you and you've got to get these sharp edges off especially if you're going to use it as a hand drill spindle Otherwise, it will chew your hand up. Now, that's just really fast. You, can, you can't even really see where it was. That's that. 
and you can kind of compare that to this big nub and that's what it was before. So I'm going to sit here and do this to a lot of them. Uh, I'll show you really quick another thing that I do and you guys can laugh at me. Um, but this is how I harvest them too. So maybe it'll help you guys out. All right, so let's say this is a spindle that I want and it's on the ground. I actually take, if, I've, if I have it with me, of course, um, I'll take a pair of pruning shears and these work really, really good. These are pretty dull now. I cut things I shouldn't have cut with them. You can probably see that uh, blades not looking too well. But I snip the end off, you know, when I collect it. And then, of course, I bring it home because I just don't have time you know, to do too much to it. But you can see this one here, possibly. It's not too bad as far as straight wise. And I like my spindles to be at least as long as my entire arm with my fingers extended. And then once I get that acquired measurement, then we just get rid of the excess. It's gone. So now we virtually have a hand drill spindle. Uh, before doing that, if you have a long enough piece of stock, you'll want to look down it and pick the straightest section of it. Um, you can kind of see this one here. It's not too bad, not too bad at all. And the good thing about mullein is it seems to be a little bit easier to uh, clean up. You can really clean up those nodules. You can tell it's a nice day. Can you hear that motorcycle? Who knows, it might be my brother, I don't even know. But uh, this is just short work here. Once you've cleaned it up in this direction, you'll want to fill it for anything that's really too terribly rough on your hands. Uh, and then you'll want to get rid of that. Another way to get rid of it is with the back of your spine. And it's just to kind of shear it like this. Um, but we'll just sit here and do this to the whole stack. Um, and then after I get the spindles worked down like this, I like to make a bundle. So I stick them all together and rubber band them together and that'll help kind of keep them straight um, and organized, of course. So if you go and take one of these and lean it up in your corner, it's going to get a bow in it. Um, if you lean it too steep, um, of course you can lean it mostly straight and it should stay pretty straight, especially if it's dry. But uh, we've had some pretty humid days here. Oh, and got a gnat. <laughs> so. All right. So this is the fun part here. Get to sit here and work with a knife. Check out that logo. That's awesome. Does really, really good work. I can say his craftsmanship has extremely, extremely gotten better um, from when he first started. These, these things are top, top notch now. I mean, that is just, talk about love. Yeah. This one's got just a little bit of a, little bit of a belly there. But it's kind of a nice, you know, smaller, medium-ish knife. All right, you could check out some of my mess here. That's all you know, I'd call leftovers for sure. Kind of working on it at the moment. Um, my bag of gulls. This here is all yucca spindles, mullein spindles, or to be. Um, it's cottonwood bark. And uh, oh, it's horseweed, elderberry, and some uh, velvet leaf. A little bit of yucca stuff. There's my inner bark, um, some punk wood, a few other odds and ends that I've gotten from some friends. This is just a little bit of cottonwood, um, you name it. Got my daughter in here trying to look all cute. Hi. <laughs> so but that's where I'm at with it. Um, I don't know. I may go play with the kids here and uh, 
bundle some of these up with some r rubber bands. <laughs> Love you, sweetheart. Love you, too. Love you, three. Love you, four. Love you so much more. I like making spindles with my dad. It's fun.